<laughs> Every 10 damn seconds. Well, we got new, we have new friends today. Hello, it's Marty A. Johnson Show. How's everyone feeling? Today is the season finale. Yeah. Let's go, Carl. Let's get it. Boom. Yeah. Today, today, today is the, first off, how, how are y'all feeling? First off, let me ask that first. Great. I'm excited for tonight. I'm excited for the whole season finale. Absolutely. Okay, let me start with you, Charlene, first. So, uh -huh. Charlene, are you excited? Very, very, very excited. Okay. Got things in store on this season finale of the Marty A. Johnson show. Well, today, today wow. is the season finale. I'm going to open it up shortly. Um, Lavelle, how are you feeling? I'm ecstatic, man. I'm ecstatic. Part one, I'm coming in strong with it. Season finale. Let's go, Marty A. Johnson show. First off, how do y'all feel? Lavelle, Charlene first, sorry, me a gentleman. Charlene, give me uh -huh. a, a memorable, memorable guest for this season. For this season. You guys always know mine is going to be Anthony Hamilton. Well, he's coming. He's coming back. I'm his Charlene. Lies you tell. Ow. Lies you tell. <laughs> Lies you tell. I wish. <laughs> I wish I was his. Lies you tell. Damn, that's a good let me, question. Let me um, let me open it up in a minute, and then I'm um, you know how we do. Um, do people. I got something to tell y'all too. I got something to tell oh, you. As always, um, as let me always, find the man. intro first. I don't even know what I'm gonna use. I got stuff just everywhere, but it is what it is. So, um, you know, work with me one second. Today's what part one, right? Part one, yes. Oh, I'm excited. I am beyond excited. Lavelle, mm -hmm. you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, look, look, I'm a, look. Chingy's gonna be here shortly. I'm about to open it up in a minute. Let me find the daggone intro first. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find an intro. I got all these intros. Right here. But look, it's it's it is what it is. I'm gonna open it up in a minute. But we want some good music, though, right, y'all? Yes, please send in some good music, you guys. Now's the time. I say that it, that that part right there, Lavelle. That part right there. You you guys don't know what's gonna happen tonight on the. Pretty young fan. bro. Turn it up. Look, Marty A. Johnson here. Charlene Monet. Look, we're in New York City. I think I'm lying, look. In an Uber. Look, Tuesday nights, where's that? Marty A. Johnson Show. Shout out to LaBelle, and who else? JD. You got some hot music you want us to listen to. What they need to do? Marty A. Johnson 4 at gmail.com. Woo! Remember, Marty A. Johnson Show. You can come on the show and defend your record. Time is music at its best. Rest in peace, the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Yes. I'm on Marty Johnson and everything. Charlene underscore Monet on Instagram. Remember, Tuesday nights, Marty A. Johnson show. Don't talk about it, be about it. Remember, talk all that yeah, yeah. We're the only platform that's top tier with celebrity guests. <laughs> that part. Hey, yo, it's your boy G.I. And we're the legendary group H Town. And you rocking, you rocking right now, right here with the Marty A. Johnson show. That's what it is. And right now, we turn the pitch up. My boy, Marty H. Let's go. Still here. I'm beyond excited. <laughs> I am beyond excited. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, and um, I'm opening up in a minute. I just want to say this. What? Okay. Let me just tell you this. This is the season finale of season five, part one. Yes, part one. Because next year is going to be still season five, part two. So I feel that we're not done yet. Uh oh. Maybe. <laughs> not maybe. <laughs> not, not maybe. Um, who's your favorite guest, Lavelle? Charlene said hers, Anthony Hamilton. I, it's, it's so many, man. It's so Thank many. You. Uh, I, I like Anthony. I actually, Anthony's up there. Anthony's up there. I'm not gonna lie. Well, after, tonight, after tonight, I'm gonna have a new one. You think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know so. Well, Chinky's a, ve a veteran. Absolutely. Go ahead and ask the question. Go ahead and ask it. What? <laughs> Go ahead. What? Is he a legend? Is he? Uh oh. Let me ask you first. I'll walk right into that one. <laughs> you, <laughs> you laid it out there and then you ran over it. I knew it. Look, I might as well. 
Somebody was gonna ask. Well, St. Louis legend for sure. Who? Classic records. I'll say that. And I personally, agree. for me, for my, you know, coming up, he's he's a legend in my eyes. Okay. But I know, like, for the game, people would not agree with that. Is he a veteran? Absolutely. Most definitely. Charlene, what's some of your? Which, give me one of your favorites. Okay, other than Anthony Hamilton. No, um, uh, uh, Chingy hit record. Hit record by Chingy. Charlene, um, Marty. Give me a hit record by Chingy. What do you like? Uh oh. You don't know, Lavelle. Help her out, please, Lavelle. Okay. Um, one call away is number one. I would mm -hmm. say pull me back is number two. Uh huh. Uh, Holiday Inn be number three. Okay. So, um, Lavelle, did you get any new friends today? Um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think I would say any. No, I don't think I said no. 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 Can I tell you something? Let's just talk this. I think on why is it when we have the big name. Big big name artists, all of them people want to tap in all of a sudden. Hit my inbox. Everybody want to talk to me and all that. No. Oh, of course, Marty. They want to be seen, especially if we're having a celebrity on and they want to have their music heard. Um, but what's crazy is they don't tap in any other time. It's just mm -hmm. when <laughs> we have celebrities on the platform. So we have you know, you know, the higher they perform on the billboard, it's like it brings up. Yeah, because we stars too. We got stars everywhere. Well, um, let me um let's let's start this platform. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna open it up. I think there's certain artists I think um stayed on the path with us. Mm -hmm. Good, bad, or indifference. And that's what we're gonna do today. Um there's a lot of artists I we feel that they're not ready yet. Right. And I feel when we're top tier, I think some people, you got to respect what we do, but we can take artists. This is the finish line right here. You cutting a lot of corners. This is the season finale. We got to talk that talk. Facts. Those are facts. Yes. So, Lavelle, if, if I choose to play a, a up and coming artist for our, our new good friend, what, what, do, what do you think that we're looking for right now? What do you think we're looking for? I mean, the music, of course, has to be good. It has to be workable. Mm -hmm. But the personality, man, the personality, the attitude, the mm -hmm. you know, the thirst for knowledge, really, is going through that you know grueling process to be a finished and fine product. That's that's what we're looking for. <laughs> somebody to want to go to the finish line. Damn. Right. Somebody, somebody that's putting that work. You we know, took two to the finish line already. Following the process, following the process. That part, they've helped themselves before they reached out and wanted help from others. It's important that an artist helps themselves. I agree. <sighs> but hit it's records. Slim though. Thing. Where's my slim clip? Then I'm going to get it together. Where's my slim clip? Yeah, Look at live show. You want you want to talk to me? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get up my, get up my, let me open it up in a minute. Let me play this first and our friend's coming. Our new friend's coming. Oh, it's Marty A. Johnson here. Got my guy. Yo, yo, it's your boy Slim 112 in the building. Look, all the artists ask me every single week, who got that smoke? Slim, talk to him. Hey, man, y'all need to send all y'all joints to Marty A. Johnson for at gmail.com. And guess what? We listen to it. We're both gonna listen to it. And if it's hot, I'll let you know. If it's not, we don't let you know. No, Slim, real quick. The R's always say I'm I'm too cutthroat. Tell them uh, this, I'm the real deal here. Hey man, hey man, you want Marty to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Listen to what y'all tell you. You want Marty to tell you first. You know what I'm saying? Because anything past it. Me. But he's the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta know. It's gonna be honest. Keep your feelings at the door. Slim selling the Feelings at the door straight up though, for real. You know what I'm saying? So Marty A. Johnson. Let's Marty A. Johnson for Gmail. Don't talk about it, be about it. Let's go. Wow. And then people like him, we 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 build genuine genuine relationships with the yes. guests. Yes, and he's one of them. No, no it's for real. It's definitely, yes. Um, our special guest is already here. Yes. I'm sending him. I'm sending him good vibes in advance. I'm letting him in in three minutes. I'm building up the moment. 
So, bro, I'm building up the moment. He's laughing already. If you can see and hear me, throw up the peace sign. Perfect. So, um, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna set it all up. So, he may not know. I'm a, I'm gonna say it when I let him in. Um, first, this we're going to do because a lot of he may not he may not be familiar with this platform. So, sure. here's what we're going to do for Chingy. We want to celebrate him. We want to give him his flowers. Fuck with all them other platforms does. This is the Marty A. Johnson show. Whatever storyline y'all do, we don't do that here. That <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, we're gonna um we're gonna show him how we get down in the wings because we want him to tap in later. Yes. Because King uh -oh. got his own record label. For real. <laughs> um, anyhow, first I'm first I'm gonna tap in. He's gonna see how we're gonna tap in, and then um I'm gonna do my intro for him. That sound fair? Boom. Three minutes. Great. But them, I'm about to open it up in a minute. So first, we tap in with a celebrity guest, and then we're gonna skip the other part and bring Chingy in. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready? No. Great. What's up, Deborah Cox? It's the Marty A. Johnson Show, along with LaBelle and Charlene, Queen. We're still waiting for you, Charlene. Yes. We have an artist named Nia. Nia. Nia going to try to do something. Nia going to do her rendition of Nobody's supposed to be here. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Nia. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> you better do this song some justice. <laughs> LaBelle. Yeah. Is Nia, I mean, is Nia, is Deborah Cox a legend? <sighs> no. 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 <laughs> Come at me, Dash is watering. Well, she she's legendary. How about that? That part. That part. She has she has her her core audience. Let's leave it at that. But um, let's get back to Nia. Can we gotta let our guests in? If we ain't feeling this little girl here, what's gonna happen to her? She gonna get that cut. Ow. I'm gonna open up that in a second. Um, we don't hear this till when. Till now. We really don't hear it till now, for real. Nia, I'm praying for you, girl. Here. Tap in! Thing. <laughs> We're waiting on it. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Heard that. This is the season finale. I want top tier. <laughs> Holy uh, mom and her. <laughs> that song was too big for her. It was too way big. too big for her. Yeah, yeah man. that was a struggle from the get go. Yeah, okay. her first note was horrible. Sorry, baby. Let's get away from our guest is here. In the meantime, Miss Cox, tap all the way in because this is Marty A. Johnson's show. That part. All right, so let me let our guests in. Let me open it up in a minute. First off, um, he may not know this, but um. We do a lot of um, PSAs all the time. Yes. We do public service announcements for our wish list of some celebrities that we want on the show. And mm -hmm. truth be told, it works for us. Yes, Because we're top tier. Um, just ask the rest of development. Just ask 702. Seriously, just ask Jay Holiday. Give me another one, Charlene. Give me SWV. Ruben Stuttered. Ruben Stutter. Mims. Yes. Yeah. We do our P PSAs. Then the team reach out to us and say, um, we would love to have them bring them on this platform. So let's show you our PSA that we did for him. And shout out to um, Haley, because um, that's his people's. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this is what we did prior to him coming on the show. Okay? At least, at least, at least we're honest, right? That part. 
And I'm letting him in. Okay. This is a classic record. Timeless. Chingy. Marty A. Johnson here. Charlene Monet. Cool sound the bell. Yeah, my name is Rolando Brockway, baby. It's the Marty A. Johnson Show. Tuesday night's the place to be. Real talk, real conversation. It is what it is. If you want to get your music heard, tap in. Where do you send your music to? Send us your music at martyajohnson4 <laughs> at gmail.com. Lavelle, what are we going to feel in the music? It will be cut. You do not sing your, your greatest work. Please sing your greatest, not your latest, Marty A. Johnson 4 at gmail.com. Good. Okay, it's guaranteed to happen, so if you want yours heard, come with that smoke, that heat, just like this. Chingy, come on the show. Chingy, my team already reached out to you. They say you're working on a new album. Talk about it here at the Marty A. Johnson Show. We're going to see you there. <laughs> and look, it, voila. So, look, let me give, let me give my introduction. 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 All right, so this gentleman here, he is a um, hip hop veteran. Yeah. No, he from he's from my era. I remember in college, I was popping off him. Seriously. <laughs> oh three, but anyhow, he's a hip hop veteran. He worked with some of the who's who's in the business. Um, Little Wayne, Little Flip, Murphy Lee, Tyrese, E Forty. And in case you don't know, they're all friends of this show. Yeah. Facts. Also, he's one of the few rappers in the business just goes by one name. Yeah. <laughs> and in in addition, in addition to his one name, he collaborated with some of the biggest artists in the world with just one name. Yeah. Luda. Yep. Buster. Janet. Buster Snoop. got two names. Well, we sure enough. When we when you say the name, <laughs> you know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> but Going back to my intro, <laughs> um, he has, um, he's in his own lane to himself with hits. I mean, hit hits, number one hits. You may not know some of the classic, them jeans, baller baby. All you want to know right here, one call away. Don't worry with Janet. For real. Pulling this me real. back. Pulling him back. But back. You, you seen him. You've seen him all over on the world. You've seen him on countless movies and sitcoms. But most importantly, you see him now on the Marty A. Johnson show with that, myself, the girl, and Charlene. You that's guys say hello to um, award-winning multi-platinum star, Chingy. I'm Marty, in case you don't know. <laughs> Chingy, Chingy. What's, what's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Can y'all hear me? Clear. Yes, hear Loud and clear. Cool. So cool. It's, cool. first of all, we're going to say welcome to the Marty A. Johnson show. I'm, I'm Marty. Um, Marty, first what's up? Say, um, say hello to my esteemed panel. Um, Lebel and Charlene. Charlene, what's up, Charlene? Hi, Moon Sound Lebel, what's good? Chingy is happening with you. Oh man, peaceful, peaceful. It's very peaceful here. First off, you may not know this. I want to shout out um, your team, Scott and Hallie. Great, greatness. Let me tell you, let me tell you why. Honestly, um, we're on our fifth season currently. Mm -hmm. I've been talking to them. My team been talking to them since a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. consistently. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just building relationships, just talking. You're like, he ain't ready yet. But let's stay in touch. No, they're really good people. So no, they're great people. Really good people. So what I'm about to say, stick with them. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Great people. Great. I love them. I love okay. them. Okay. So first off, like I said, we're here to we're here to celebrate you. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're here, definitely here to celebrate that. you. What did it, what did your team tell you about us? First off, let me get that out of the way first. What they tell you about us, or they say, "Come do this interview." They just told me I had an interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, they let just me tell me I had an interview and I had to post it, and that it was with Marty A. Johnson, the the greatest. Well, I ain't agree. <laughs> That's well, what they said. Well, Chingy, um, welcome to the big league. Look, you're already big time, so you're you're part you're part of the. You're one of our part of the friends, big days yeah. with you. So, I'm, yep, I'm here with you. Perfect. So, look, only thing we want to do today, we really want to celebrate you. I don't care about all that other stuff. We want to celebrate you. I want to talk about the new music. I want to talk about the tour that you're about to kick off in a couple of days. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're gonna get to that in, in a minute. So, let me first let me get into it with this. Um, how does it feel to still be in the game 20 years 
later. How does it feel right now? What's going on? What you happened? Don't don't what happened? You froze up. <laughs> yeah, I froze up. I don't know what happened, but we back. We back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Only that mean? Are we good? We good. We're good. We good now. Now okay. we straight now. So, so Gigi, 20, 20 years, twenty years plus later, almost twenty years. Next year. Yeah, but I say almost. Not correcting myself. Um, do you feel that you're still being in industry today? Looking back at it. Um, twenty years. You say, do I feel? Did I feel I still be in it today? Yes. Um, I, I've been doing. You know. I've been doing this since a kid, since I was like literally six years old, loving music. And just to to even get a record deal and be able to have like number one records and chart records, that was like a goal and a dream of mine. And so it's always what I wanted to do. And so 20 years later, do I feel I would still be here? Yeah, of course. And you know, just in my own right, you know what I mean? Not, not that I have to always have the biggest records or the biggest mm -hmm. album and all that. I just love the craft. I love music, and so when you when you love it, it's not work, and um and things just come to you. So at this point, I do it off the of love, and things just come. Nice. Where we where, where part of the world are you right now? You still in St. Louis, or you somewhere else in, in the in the country? Actually, right now I'm at um I'm in I'm in uh, L. A. I'm in L. A. Nice. I'm How even out there? <laughs> it's not us. It ain't me. Yeah, we broke up again. What you say? That's your that's that's your service. That's but it. We, we still got you here. It looked like I got all my little notches though. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it ain't me. <laughs> I don't know. You know these phones, boy. They got a mind of their own. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're good. Um, well, I appreciate you here staying with us. Um. <laughs> The music scene now in in LA. Take me back to St. Louis. Back 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 in your, your younger days. I already, we already know about the deal situation and stuff like that. Do you really feel like besides Nelly, you, I'm gonna focus on you. Do you feel like you are you getting your roses? Your am I flowers? getting am I getting my roses and my flowers? I've been, you know what, and I appreciate you guys for even um allowing me on your platform and giving me and giving me the roses and the flowers and everything. But I always feel I have my roses and flowers because people always tell me how they appreciate my music. They always tell me how my music helped them in life. My music helped them with their marriages, they, with their relationships, and just helped them through college and a lot mm -hmm. of things like that. And so for me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a down-to-earth, humble guy, man. For me, I'm cool with that. You know, that's giving me my flowers because I do it. I, I create good music for the people to listen to, and that's timeless. Like, right. like even today, right there, and a lot of my records are jamming like they just came out yesterday. And so, yeah. that's enough. That's enough for me because I do the music for the people. Where's your favorite joint to perform? That's, I know I'm skipping over. Where, where's your favorite joint to perform right now? My favorite joint to perform right now. You know what? It's it, it's funny, man. Because see, I and I always tell people this. I don't really have a favorite what? because I like I like I like so many of my records. Like I okay. have fun performing. I got an hour set that I perform and I have so much fun performing every song. But of course, if we looking at it and we just have to pick a favorite with a, a one right there will always be that that um, the favorite, I guess, you know, to a lot of not not just me to a lot of other people, but. I don't really got a favorite. All of my love, I, and that's and that's a genuine answer. That, that that is a good that is a good answer, Tim. I want I want to know about the time when you really feel like your life has changed. You really feel like you made it a hit record when you first got when you first got your deal, and you drop you drop right here. Cause we have a lot of artists that taps into our show, up and coming artists. They think they they got it, but they don't. Then we had to give him a reality check. <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> right now, I feel you. I feel you. Um, because a lot of people want the fame. Um, 
with a hit record, did the monetary really come afterwards? Because a lot of times artists want to get in the booth, but they don't know the business. Right. That's true. Um, well, for me, when I knew that I really, when it, when it was really happening, mm -hmm. I, rem I remember being on tour and I was on a tour bus and my A&R had came to me and said, do you realize you selling 90,000 records a week consistently? Like every week, you selling 90,000 records every week. And I, and me being me, I was like, oh, for real? That's what's up. And I went back to what I was doing. <laughs> because, not, not because I didn't appreciate it. Of course I appreciated it. But I, I know that, um, in the drop of a dime, something can go just as quick as it can. Yeah. So you 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 have to continue to work. But that's when I knew, like, okay, this is this is this is happening. I mean, you're selling ninety you selling ninety thousand records a week consistently. That's that means something's brewing, yeah, something's big. going on. Yeah, that's big. Did you get the money? How about the money situation? Money with hey, let me tell you. Look. Yeah, let's talk. We're friends. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you when I knew the money was. The money was it was it was really really good. I remember um, I was doing a promo tour for my first album. Okay. Now now this is promo tour. This is right after I shot right there the video. We went right on promo tour after that. Now this promo tour, and you don't get paid to do promo tour because you're going to radio stations and all that. You don't really get paid to do that. But I had paid shows and everything too. Got it. I remember one time going to check my um my debit card, my personal card. And I didn't really spend money. I didn't. I wasn't spending money. And one time I went to go uh, check in and get some money out of, and it was like, it was like, three hundred thousand dollars on that. Mm. This is my personal core because I was just letting money stack up. I wasn't touching it. This is my personal core. So, so now, to all the kids out there, artists, the young inspiring artists that's watching, I want to tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell you what I did. I went right and brought bought a car some jewelry and some stupid stuff <laughs> <laughs> so y'all don't do that y'all continue to save the money and let it stack but um you know it was it was it was it was nice to do what i wanted with and um, i earned it i just went and got me a couple gifts but i i was good and that was on the first album that was on the very first album why is it because um like like i said um we had a lot of heavy hitters um Mims and I believe Jay Holiday, but I remember Mims. Mims was on Capital too. Both, both of them, I think. Jay Holiday yeah. was too. Well, I do remember when Mims told us when they did like the the change in the label department. Is did you get lost in that shuffle too? Yeah. So to speak, which I'm gonna tell you where I got lost to. in that shuffle. I got what work um pulling me back in them jeans off my third album Hood Store. That's oh. where I got lost in that shuffle. Oh. Oh. Damn. Yeah. So, so as as we were trying to promote pulling me back in them jeans, Capitol Records was going down, and and I got caught in it. Hmm. Wow. How did we regroup on something like that? Because it seemed like, cause no, you was young, you was young at the time. We're right, we're right in the same age group, but you had all this success. But correct me if I'm wrong. Don't take this the wrong way. Fresh in the game, you didn't yeah. know your business. Is that, is that nah. fair to say? Yeah, that's definitely fair to say. We're talking about a, we're talking about a kid that was 23, 20, mm -hmm. 24, 25, 26. My third album came out when I was um, 26. And when when we was, when Capital got in that slump, that's around the time, right after that, that's around the time um, me and DTP got back together. That was the second time. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, we got back together uh, with Disturbing the Peace. And that's when I... I, I um, was on Def Jam, so it was disturbing the peace. Def Jam, not Capital no more. Did you, did you make more money with um, disturbing the peace or with Capital? Who are you? Who was your money maker? Um, I was with Capital longer. You, it's a, it's a how that process goes and works. I'm gonna tell you how that goes and works. So when you sign to a major label, or if you sign to a sub label that signs to a major label, the sub label does a deal with the major label, and whatever your advance and everything is, the sub label gives you, which would be disturbing the peace. Now, oh. if you if you write your own music, then you get 
publishing royalties. If you perform your own music on the records, which I do, you get performance royalties. You see what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. And, and, and by you performing, going out and touring and stuff, you also get paid from that. So that's pretty much how that those revenue streams work. Then coming out when uh, streaming and stuff is now a different thing, but that's usually how that how that worked. And I got paid all around the board. You doing you were doing wonderful then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you doing, doing great. really good. But I write all my music. You write it by yourself. No ghostwriting. No, because I see electric my this back when I used to. People, this is back when people got the CDs. I was already read in the back of it. I didn't. See, I think Howard's name you, and I'm um, like three other names. Sometimes um, when you when you seeing those names, those include producers and stuff too. Okay, mixing engineers, all of that. Correct me if I'm wrong, because a lot of times, um, like I said, with us, we always present artists. Since I always say we show up because we are top tier, and um, we present artists to like heavyweights, people like you, people that come mm -hmm. on the show. And I'm gonna show you them a little bit later. Some artists don't know the business. Some of these people, they don't know what recoup means. They don't know what well, punch on label means. They, well, they don't know none of that. Well, artists, how important is the business? Is hundred percent, hundred percent music business, but eighty of it's business. So, Not so, so check this out. The artists that don't understand recoup. Well, here's the thing. When you get that advancement from the record label, when they advance you that money. They're they're advancing you some money that you got to pay back. So recoup means you have to pay that back. So after you recoup, then that's when you'll get some additional money that got made. You tell you definitely telling it. Um, touring because last year, right before the pandemic, either year or year before that, you headlined your own tour. Yep. With the with genuine who was the who was the person on there? No, it was um actually. You talking about? I think you talking about the tour. It was Yin Yang Twins and Petey Pablo. But there was a wasn't there a tour with you and I think Genuine. I did some dates with Genuine. Okay. Um, you met you met a lot of people. I'm here with Nosy. You you've been around a lot of people. You work with some of the who's who's. We're friends now. Who's some of the most difficult people that are that we might know that's been difficult to work with? Let us know. Well. I'm one of those individuals when it comes to people. I, I try not to. I don't. I try not to judge people because I let people be who they are. So mm -hmm. I try not to judge them. But I'm gonna tell you one time I was working with Timberland in Miami, mm. and and we were supposed to be at the studio at five o'clock in the afternoon. He came to the studio at five in the morning. <laughs> he came to and thought that I was supposed to be ready to work. <laughs> <laughs> and so we was just like this dude crazy but i still i still had got like three songs done mm. yeah so so i still was doing my thing that that was just hilarious though because we we were we were scheduled to work at 5 p.m p.m he, he came at 5 a.m <laughs> now now mind you now mind you i'm paying him out of my budget so so you would think you would think he would be there on time but we didn't use it against him you know what i'm saying like i said i don't i don't judge people even though that was a that's a that's a significant amount of time after being late but it was what it was and we we, we blew right past it and we still worked and got done what we need to get done you have any favorite collaborations that you've done because your, your resume is is lit so okay i do when we say fa now i want you to i want you to realize too i don't i don't really use the word favorite i don't like to really say favorite because there's so many artists that i appreciate okay but but i'm gonna tell you two that i really appreciate and how it happened okay first first is r kelly despite what people may think about him and all of this i don't get into that he's a great right. musician he's a great songwriter True. he's a great from me knowing him he's a great being he's a great person and I remember me and my road manager at the time, I forgot what city we was in, but it wasn't St. Louis or Chicago. And we were talking about how we was trying, I wanted to get R. Kelly on this song, on this song called Leave With Me. Here's the funny thing. As we talking about that, we walking into this store, guess who walked, was walking in when we was walking in? 
Who? R. Kelly. <laughs> no, I, I am not making this up. I am not. This is as authentic as it can get. When we was talking about getting him on this song, we was walking into this store. He was walking in right when we was walking in. And we already knew it was going to happen. Second, now keep in mind, um, Michael Jackson, I love Michael Jackson, May Rest in Paradise. Absolutely. And he's the reason I wanted to entertain. Michael Jackson is the reason I wanted to entertain on stage. Easy E is the reason I wanted to be a rapper. Oh, wow. Those are the those are the two that's responsible for my career. May they rest in paradise. But I worked with Janet Jackson on my third album. Was it my third album? No, 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 my second album. Second. I worked with Janet Jackson on my second album, Powerballing. And I wanted her on that record. And so um at the time, a guy who was doing some management for me, Kenneth Creer, he was managing her. And so he used to always tell me, Janet thinks you're so handsome. She just loves you. She thinks you're so handsome. <laughs> I was like, really? Wow, Janet Jackson? He was like, yeah, she just loves you. She thinks you're so handsome and cute. And so I wanted her on this song. And so they back got the then, song. Janet liked them young back then. She liked the boys young. <laughs> and I liked, I liked, and I liked the one with a little age on. So it was all good. <laughs> But look, so 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 we at the studio. I'm at the studio recording at Larrabee Studios, and they hit me in the room that I was in on the phone. Said Chingy, you got a call on line one. I'm like, who calling me at the studio? Don't nobody know I'm here. Who knows I'm at the studio? I, nobody got my number here. I get on the phone, and all you hear is this soft voice saying, "Hello, Chingy. Um, thank you for allowing me to do this." And it was Janet Jackson. I almost pissed on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't bullshitting. It was Jenny Jackson, man. I say, get the fuck out of here. Oh, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, y'all. Uh, be that. friends, you can cuss. Be You're friends. Fine. But, uh, but yeah, I literally almost pissed on myself. It was Jenny Jackson thanking me for allowing her be, to be a part of that record. I said, wow. And I also remember one time I went out with uh, JD, Jermaine Dupree. I went out with JD, Jermaine Dupree, and Jenny Jackson was with him. So he was in his VIP and she kept looking at me. <laughs> oh, she, she keep that on low, low man. I know JD not well, but <laughs> did you smash on the low? What do you tell me? No, I didn't. Did you smash? If I did, I wouldn't tell. I'm gonna keep it real with you, but no, I wouldn't tell either. <laughs> when people see Chingy now, <laughs> what do you feel that Chingy has? The offer, to, I, mean, I can tell later. Why is it? I can tell that question later. Why is it we don't see you in some of these? Um, when they have verses. They ever approach you to do verses or pass the mic, anything like that? How come they haven't celebrate you? Because you got hits. Hey, you know what? Um, I haven't really spent much time pondering on it. Why okay. they? Why they don't involve me? Because I'm. I just go along with my life. I don't. You know, if they if they wanted to, they they would. They reach out. I don't know. But it don't, I ain't really tripping, but um, it, I think a lot of that stuff turns political. Okay. I think a lot of that stuff start being politi political when it gets some traction and then people start feeling themselves and egos get involved. I agree. Because yeah. I, I, heard, I heard one time with the verses that you had to have 20 um, charting records and, I, as, and I've watched it and I've seen so many people that hasn't had nerve. How about 20, them don't 20 have them? chart no. records. No. He said we ain't not a hit during his verses. <laughs> I, I know for a fact I can get on there and go back to back with, with a lot of people. So, but it's I, you, like I said, I'm not, that doesn't validate me. I understand. I well, have fun. I have fun doing it, but it don't, it don't matter to me. It's all good. Tell me, tell me, tell me about you. See, I'm here to celebrate you. People telling me, want to talk about this. I said, how about you get your own platform you, and get them on your platform? You ask me anything you want to. <laughs> No, I'm I'm here to celebrate you. But um, tell me about your label situation. Tell me about your label situation right now. Um, label. My label situation. Actually, I'm independent. I got um distribution through um in groups, okay. which is a uh, which is part of a uh, universal uh, music group. But I'm just I'm independent. So basically, they just distribute my music to got the it. streaming platforms and and all where you can um get your music from. So that's kind of what it is. And I, I, I basically have to do everything to promote and, you know, on my end. But they just they just 
That I means distributing my music. They put it out to the masses for, yeah. for you. So, so 369 Creative Mind is my um, label imprint. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so yeah, it just, just, it just, they just distributed. And the first single off my Chinglish album was Can't Blame Me, which is doing really, really good, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, that's something that a record, me and a friend of mine, Fresco Kane, produced that track and I wrote it. And um, I have another single about to drop. If you like pulling me back, you're going to love this record too. It's called That Good, that me and Fresco produced as well. And he's actually singing on there, a homeboy of mine from East St. Louis. And it's a great record for the ladies. And so we're going to be dropping that in a minute as well. So um, Chinglish is going to be coming out top of the year. Perfect. Chinglish. You know, y'all know I got my own terminology. And so that's why I call it Chinglish. I like that. Chingy, here's what we're going to do for you. Since we're talking about music. You see how we tapped in earlier. Y'all welcome. Yep. Um, you see how we tapped in earlier with some of the records. Um, I want to get your honest opinion Let's on do some it. of these records. Please. And a lot of time, a lot of time we have a lot of our guests come on. You're our new guest right now. They're giving their real feedback. Yep, I'm going to give you real feedback. Well, Perfect. Let's do it. Well, right. hey, let me give you an example. But since this is the season finale, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So let me give you an example of how we do it. you probably seen it in the waiting room. I didn't open my damn settings afterwards. Let me find this clip. <laughs> Please. Yep. But I get another text message. Um, watch this clip. Someone you guys might know, too. Then we're going to play some, play some games. Y'all want to tap in with him first or do five in? Let's tap in. So I'm talking about. Tap in. Tap in. Okay, let's tap in first. Hey, what's up, man? It's me, your boy, Jay Holiday with the Marty A. Johnson Show. I want to put your submissions in. Make sure you submit to Marty A. Johnson 4 at gmail.com. And until next Marty A. Johnson Show, listen. This is our celebrity edition. Jay Holiday, a.k.a. Mr. Bad, Mr. Time. We're going to tap in. Right now, Charlene Amir is doing his rendition of Suffocate. Oh, God. Oh, um, you got the man himself up there. Don't mess it up. Jay, oh, we're not feeling the record. Cut it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it. My bad. Cut it. We got, we got we that off. win, Lavelle. Right now. I suffocate when you're away from me. So much love you take from me. I'm going out of my mind. It's not bad, but it was kind of like, oh, if I heard this at karaoke, oh, dude, going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember, this is the only platform that taps in with celebrity guests. Just ask uh, <laughs> Jay Alde. So remember, this Tap is in. a show. So, Chinky, you see what the real deal now? <laughs> yep. Okay, so, so first, we're going to do one on our own, but then the next one, I'm bringing the artist on. Okay. All right. So look. So you got the premise of tap in, right? You got. You gonna play along with us? Cause I'm using this promo. Got you. <laughs> I got you. Got well, you. we need receipts. Yes, always. I know. I know. He said, "Damn, me, I lit here." No, uh -uh, it's all good. I'm with you. You're, you're all type of people. Look, Antoine, you ready? Let's get it. What's up? We're at the Marty A. Johnson show. Look, it's a tap in edition, the celebrity edition. Now we got our good friend. What's your name? Ching a ling ling, what's happening? It's time to tap in. Charlene. Tap in. Yes. We got our good friend Elijah Banks. Oh, yes. Yes. I love him. Fire. Mm. He has a joint called Ching. Elijah, he's a friend of this show also. He has a joint called How High. Now, Chingy, if you're not feeling it, what's going to happen? We gonna go low instead of no, how high. You wanna cut it like this? Yeah. <laughs> so, Chingy, Chingy, if we're not feeling it, what happens? There you go. We so cut look, it. Perfect. So look, since Chingy's our special guest, when Chingy says cut the record, that's when we're gonna cut it. You can look at LaBelle and Charlene. They're gonna okay. influence you whether they like the record or don't like the record. Okay. But once mm -hmm. you say cut, that's yeah. in the record. Okay. Yep. LaBelle, we don't hear this till when? Right now. Till now. Good luck. Come on, Elijah. Hey, Rex. I just want to get high. Roll up. Get high. Smoke up. Back and catch fire. Go up. I'm a 
That don't sound bad. That don't sound bad. If you don't like it, cut it. Let it rock. Let it rock. I don't think it sound bad. Okay. It got a nice vibe to it. Even though I don't smoke. Yeah, I think it sounds cool. Charlene is really feeling it. <laughs> I want them to think you want to find somebody. <laughs> It's a, I, I think the regular is not. Okay, I need more. Kingy, what you think of it? Huh? What do you think of it? I think um that record got a nice vibe to it. I was rocking with it. Okay. Shout out to Elijah Banks. So listen, remember, we're the only platform that has celebrity guests consistently. Yeah, hey, look, you can say hey, what you want. Hey, look, when y'all see the show, go when ahead. y'all see me do this, that means. A nice looking woman walked past. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest. When you see me do that, pan the camera. Pan the camera. Yeah. <laughs> pan the camera. So um, so Chingy, so here, so here's what we're gonna do differently. Um, we have artists that tap in with us all the time. Some people try to be my best friend when we have celebrities on here. I'm 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 not rocking with them. Um, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Looking, I'm not looking for a best friend. I'm looking for a a star situation that I can walk someone to the finish line. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm not makes here sense. To, we're top tier show. I'm not here to bullshit. Let me just cut to the chase. Cut to so, the chase. So I got two artists here in the wings. Um, mm -hmm. Let's start with the female girl. You may be a four hair and makeup too. <laughs> she will be. Let me see if she changed. Um, let me give you the quick synop on her. Charlene, let me see if you can sell it for me. Sell it to Chingy, the um, R, so I'm letting in. Okay. Her name is Kara Tanae. We met her in California. Kara um, Tanae. Yes. She opened her mouth and sang and just caught us totally off guard. This uh, okay. lady is amazing. She has been on the grind. She has been in that studio working and working, and we are so very, very proud of her. She put out her EP nice. a little bit ago, and she's doing great. And great. Yes, yeah, she's doing great. And this is Kate, yeah. Kara Tane. How you Hello. doing, baby girl? What's up? What's up? Hey, how okay. you doing? I'm doing so, great. KT, you know who this is, right? Do I? Of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, he... So you got Chingy right here, along with myself and the band Charlene. So Chingy, she been um putting in some good work. She got a lot of big co-signs from a lot of people that you might know. Mm -hmm. But um, she tell them, girl, say yourself. This is your time. Let me see if um you get on the record while you're here. Why I got Chingy here? Say yourself. Go. Are you? What would you say? No, go ahead. No, you. The floor is yours. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, I just want to let you know I am such a big fan of yours. I have Thank been you. for since you came out. Um, I appreciate I'm, that. Like, kind of like, yeah. So, big fan. Thank but you. But yeah, my name is uh, my name is Kara Tane. Um, I'm a singer songwriter. Um, I'm from Cali, West Coast, all day. West um, Coast. Yeah. So I um I just recently put out an EP. It's called Faith Over Fear. Um, it's four songs, and I have um, a Gorilla Black, who I who I met through the Marty A. Johnson show. Uh -huh. I was blessed to meet him through them um, when they were in L.A. He's on my project. 
Um, yep. And I have a really, really dope single out called Outside. Outside. It's doing, it's doing pretty well. It's a cool little bop, you know, it's um, yeah. you know, high energy, like just good vibes, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm just out here just, you know, doing my thing independently, um, you know, investing in myself and just letting God guide the way all the way. So um, gotcha. You know, yeah. So, yeah. I know yeah. Really all the time you stuff. Kingy, she looks good, she looks like an artist, looks like a yeah. star. The girls yeah, she, were a little crucial when it comes to the ladies. Yeah, she's nice looking. Yeah, she's nice looking. Thank All right. you. Got Thank that you brown so skin popper. Thank you so, so much. I listen to music Thank all the time. So what do you look for when um, you hear li listen to music? What do you listen look for when someone gives you records all the time? Tell me what you look for, please. What I look for, I love uh, artists that stand out. I mean, you got to, like, okay, if you listen to a lot of the music today, mm -hmm. and I come, from, I come from a time where you had to be different. You had to be authentic and different. Nobody would accept you if you sounded like somebody else. So okay. today, a lot of the artists can tend to sound alike because it's trendy and it's fast. But, you know, a lot of them get popular and a lot of those artists blend in. But you want to, what makes a star is somebody that stand out. Got it. So you, you, you want to look for something that stands out from um, the normal. Totally agree. And even and her name, she got a unique name, so I could tell she stands out. Wait till she open that mouth of her. <laughs> she be blowing. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so uh, ma'am, I got the drink ready. Um, I'm put Chingy on the big screen. Said, tell me the name of your record, please. Girl, good luck. Outside by Kara Tane. Chingy, if you don't like it, I don't care if she's here. What happens? <laughs> <laughs> All right, open them up. Open them up, Marty. Right there. All right, come on. Hey. This is one of my favorites now. Let's check it on out. Come. Tap in, Marty A. Johnson show. Don't really take a lot to do it for me. We posted up in the crib ain't where I'm trying to be. Only two in the crew, five next to me. Are we floating on the ground from the Cali I feel the wind through the waist vibrations. A little dose of that sweet sensation. Only speaking positive affirmations. So pull it up for the nice celebration. We ain't got no time for the bullshit. Everywhere we go, we be too lit. And everything we do is exclusive. And I don't give a fuck what we do. I'm going out to die. I don't need a kiss goodbye. Cause it's going up all night. I'm outside to die. Chilling with my ride is she can be up with her in the studio when I'm coming. You got your problems, baby. But they make mine. Cause I'm doing just fine. I'm living my best life. Can't let nobody face me. You won't interrupt my inner peace. I won't let you waste my energy. We ain't got no time for the bullshit. bullshit. Everywhere we go, we be too lit. And everything we do is exclusive. And I don't give a fuck what we do. Oh, we're down to die. I don't need a kiss goodbye. Cause it's going up all night. I'm outside to die. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like, I like, you know, she in in show. Chingy, what you think of it? Well, see, when she was talking about inner peace and affirmations, she seemed like she tuned in to certain things, and I like that. I like that. I like the Thank record. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I like yeah. that. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Okay, you like what we need to do? Send it back to LA. What's going on? Yeah. She she heard. I mean, she heard right. She in L.A. right. She just moved to Atlanta. I just moved to Atlanta. 
Last oh, week. okay. <laughs> oh, got you, got you. Well, she, I mean, either place, LA, Atlanta. Atlanta, she can get it done as well. Right. right. What advice do you give to her? What would you, what would you um, tell her? Keep going. Don't stop. You know, don't let nothing discourage her. I'm living proof it can be done. You know right. what I'm saying? So, I mean, it can be done. So just keep going. Thank you. I will. I will. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Girl, talk to me in the comments. Um, thank you for showing your social media. <laughs> Car Cara everything Kara Tene, K A R A T E N A E. Check Perfect. it out. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. a small person. So, so that was Kara Tene. So, look, we got heavy hitters here. Kenny, don't come yeah. in here looking all scruffy. I rock with her. Okay, the next person come in. He allegedly said he's a 16 bar battle king and all that stuff. I'm gonna let him sell himself coming in. Um, he's back. Oh, here we go. What's good? What's up? Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on? What's up with you, Chingy? How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, my brother? I'm just chilling, just chilling. All right, up. Hey, 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 let me, Marty, let me ask, let me ask Chingy one question right before we start. No, tell about your music. <laughs> Stop wasting my time. How about you say, Marty? Thank you for letting me on. Hey, I want to know if he, if, you know, how did he come up with the uh, with the dance, the chicken head dance? We're gonna yeah. get to that. Find <laughs> that on YouTube. <laughs> you need on limited time. I need to talk about the millennium. Hey. To, limit. Kenny, do you want to play your music? Hey, look, no, look, look. I can I can tell them real quick. Tell them real quick. Oh. Okay. okay, so so it was these. I didn't come up with that. It was these three girls that used to come to this club and like actually in like 99, 98, 99, and they all used to do that dance. Everybody would be looking at them like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> now, now this is this is in 99. And so right there came out in end of 2002, 2003. These girls, and I because I used to like one of them, so I used to love when they come to that club, because I used to like one of them. I wanted one of them. But these three girls made that dance up. These three girls, they not famous or nothing, but it's these three girls that used to always do that. And I'll never forget it. And everybody would look at them like, what the hell is they doing? And it was that chicken head dance. They used yeah. to call it, they used to call it the monastery because the club named monastery that we used to go to. Yep. And they used to call it the monastery. So they called that dance the monastery. Or the mono. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Word, word, word. That's it, it got a it got a lot of names though. They called it Nina Pop Mono. It's so many names, but the mm -hmm. chicken head just stuck, and I I became the creator of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I, Kenny. I, thank you so much. You have a good night, Kenny. Good night. <laughs> hey, go ahead. What, what we play? Damn. I'm yeah. joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, play. uh, I'm playing. Hey, yeah, we doing, what music do you want me we to doing play? audio? We do a video. Oh, audio. You getting too much airtime. What records should I play? Right. So, Kenny, Kenny, yeah. let me let's cut this shit. All bullshit aside. Okay, Chingy's already multi platinum. And what would you think for this once in a lifetime opportunity for him to say, Marty, who's this dude right here? What record would you play? Give him that authentic. That's one of my favorite words. So, yep, authentic. And that's the name of it, right, Kenny? Yeah. Is there a sample in it? I nah. Do that. I know how you do. Nah, okay. this all this all me right here. Uh, Matt, okay. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm from I'm from that era. You know that Chingy from. You know what I'm saying. So it's just all all authentic. You know, all real. Like you said, you know, back in when we was coming up, you know, you couldn't sound like nobody else, so you'll get played. So yeah, you know. And with and with this, you know, it's just like uh, two original. Kenny, let the rock. Kenny's trying to get too much airtime. Let the hey, record hey, play. This same bar, Kenny. Hey, I got Reed Dollars on here too. You know what I'm saying? So let's get him. He doing too much. Yes. I gotta do five and ten. Still getting forty on the last break. Minus a buck forty for the gas tank. But I ain't stressing the finesse for the fast cake. Twenty seven's got the extra gram from the bag weight. Hot strap fake and I'm real with it. Ill lyrics could pull you off, but I deal with it. Poker face, no escape. My bars have a real rhythm. Shoulder weight, hold the snake dog. Yeah, I'm still looking light work. It might hurt, but you gotta see if you sink or swim. Sink with them from the beginning. You gotta see the end. Focus on my goals. That negative shit ain't seeping in. Feel like Donald Trump. These niggas won't try to see me win. Where's the 
like y'all niggas ain't just fly as me. Still put this fight like my society. The way I speak my mind, and check it before some pride. If it ain't about money, the comments do not apply. We authentic, whatever that I be on, my niggas all with it. Yeah, we started from the bottom, now we're so rich. So three peas and turn into a small business. It's all business, yeah. So three peas and turn into a small business. I feel it. From the bottom, now it's all riches. So three peas and turn into a small business. It's all business. Yeah. This is all right. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I can relate to that. You took three P's and turned it to a small business. I love his voice. Three dollars. Niggas say they love you and they proud. Don't lie to me. I pull a drop in the PJ. Same clothes for three days. Getting it three ways. Three ways. Soft sold out. Oh, shit. Get it out this rap. Boss. Be authentic. Whatever that I be on, my niggas all with it. Yeah, we started from the bottom. Now it's all riches. So three P's and turn it to a small business. It's all business, yeah. I said we authentic. Whatever that I be on, my niggas all with it. Yeah, we started from the bottom. Now it's all riches. So three P's and turn it to a small business. It's all business. Yeah. Hey, so, so, um. Wow, Kenny, you surprised okay, me. Where are you, Kenny? Where are you going, Kenny? I like that. I like the flow, and I can relate. Because take three P's and turn it to a small business. Hey, listen, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Authentic, because that's one of my favorite words. I always say authentic. You know what I'm saying? I like the title, and I like the flow. I like the lyrics. I like the track. I'm muted, but can we turn you too much air time? <laughs> Hey, that's I'm it. him on purpose. Hey, Can is like that him? is that record um like Apple or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. Uh, I just dropped a uh, album called The Carolina Kobe. Um, you know that's one of my nicknames, the 16 Bar King and the Carolina Kobe. So I dropped the yeah. album called Kobe. It's yep. on there. I'm gonna check you, you out and cry tonight. Like I'm a, yeah, I mess with. It. Well, appreciate that, man. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Chinging, let me ask you this. If no, I know you got the max. You're about to go on the road next week. No, a couple of days, right? Couple of days. Couple first, days. First show okay. is Friday. Um, I need to get this. I need to put this in the universe right now. If I got to Hallie and Scott, we're gonna do it because you're gonna be right in my neck of the woods, right down the street. So I need. All you got to do is tell Scott and Haley that you need. They, it's all good. Perfect. No, Marty A. Johnson wants full BTS. I need VIP access. We go backstage. We All go you got to do is tell perfect. Haley and Scott you good. Perfect. So, perfect. We're going to get that out the way now. I'm going to work. Ow. That's that's easy. <laughs> perfect. So, we got, we got that out the way. Chingy's going on the road this week. Listen, Carolina. The Marty Johnson is going to be in Charlotte. We're going to be with Chingy. And I'm going to have full BTS access. That's I'll easy. Know Charlene's coming. Look, Charlene, she's going to be ready. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be turning it up. LaBelle, you coming or you busy? We're making it happen. Okay, LaBelle say he's going to make it happen. Chingy, before we leave, we're going to play our infamous game called 5 and 10. Mm -hmm. oh, and this show is legendary. It is. Let's yes. do it. And um, I want to remind y'all, right now, this is part one of the season finale. We're not playing no games. I'm going to remind y'all next week, Naughty by Nature is coming. Yeah. I'm going to remind y'all. Tretch, shout out Tretch. Tell Tretch I said, um, let me let me tell you. Tell, tell it. Tell Tretch I said, what's up? I used to, we going to break. We going to bad. Like, I used to emulate Tretch. Like, I ain't going to lie. When I was a kid, like, Tretch was, yeah. Him and him and Tupac, like, I used to emulate Tretch, like, for right. real. He always been, he always been one of those artists that, um, authentic artists, authentic Absolutely. artists that I always appreciated. I just always appreciated his character. I always appreciated the lyricism and the music. So when I was younger, I used to I used to push I used to push naughty by nature trash music. That telling myself what's up. We we sure will we're gonna use this you're gonna use this clip too. So right now we have an infamous game called five and ten. All our celebrity friends play the game. 
And of course, we have to give you um, a sample of how the game goes. Hold on, how okay. do you like our platform so far? Be honest. How do I like it? I think it's great. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's great. Cause we like to celebrate our kings and queens. We, we, we really do. Okay, and this person, you might remember her too. It's your girl Mila from 702. Where my girls at? If you ain't tuning in to the Marty of A. Course. Johnson show, you tripping. You know how I do. I used you know to love Steve's, 702. Baby. We right here all the time. Every it's that time, light skin one I used to want. And every other night. I'm coming back, <laughs> so you know. Peace. Yeah, we'll start with this game we're going to play. Okay, come on. The, game. the game's called 5 and 10. I'm going to give you a category. Mm -hmm. You guys name me five things in 10 seconds. Oh! Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you him, and I want to ask Mila. Name five artists that begin with the letter C as C in ten seconds. Go. Charlie. Hey, oh my God. Charlie. Charlie Wilson. <laughs> what? Char Charlie Wilson. Uh. 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 Oh my God. Time. Um. Time. Cube. Rather, um, <laughs> Sierra. Chris Brown. CeeLo. Carrie Underwood. Carl Thomas, Cassie, just... Celine Dion. Oh, Look, I don't know what they're saying. Let's know their songs. <laughs> 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 you got looking. Everybody, this game gets everybody. Right. It makes you think. It's, it yeah, it does, does, yeah. But you know, it's crazy because it's like we know all these artists. Dang. How do I? Come when on, you put around. people on the spot, it's hard. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. What you want to do? Woo! This is going to be good. Okay. All right, so look, we're going to play the game five and ten. We have our good friend Chingy here in the building. Ching, Chingy, say what's up to the people. What's up to the people? What's happening? <laughs> so here's how the game goes. We're going to give you a category, and you have to name five things in that category within in ten, 10 seconds. seconds. I got it. When the bell says time, that's it's, your time. It's a wrap. And then Charlene, on the other hand, She's going to count it down. She's going to count how many you get correct. So do you have the premise of the game, Howard? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, look, we got our good friend, Chingy. He's from the Midwest, multi-platinum. Now he's our good friend. He's going to be, we're going to put him on the roster that we don't, just don't see him virtually. We're going to meet him in person, just like everyone else that we see. So um, Chingy. Yep. So again, we're going to play the name game five and ten. Chingy, name me five artists, not groups, that begins with the letter F in 10 seconds. Besides Fabulous, go! Fabo, Fantasia, Future. Fortune. 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 Look at the rest of time! <laughs> <laughs> Look how I can emphasize it! <laughs> what about Faith Evans? What about Flip? What about... I um? The, the, the time and the time and got me. I got like four. You, you, you got four. four. Okay. You did, I did, did pretty good. You did good. Yeah. You did. You did good. You did good. I did pretty good. We're gonna do another one. You you did you did good. You did good. You ain't trying to cheat like some people. You know, now you, we gonna are we doing another one? We're gonna do another round. That must mean I did good. You did. You did good. You did good. All right, let me see. <laughs> Hold on, Chingy. Hold on. Hold on. All right. No, he, he, I, I can tell he's very competitive. Actually, you know what? A little bit, but I think I think competition causes division, so I ain't really that competitive. Really? I like yeah. it. But I let's like do it. it. <laughs> okay. All right, so we, got, we still got our good friend Chingy. He's going to play the... The legendary game on the Marty A. Johnson show is called Five and Ten with myself, Lavelle, and Charlene. Chingy, are you ready to play? Let's do it. Perfect. So Lavelle's going to count, and Charlene's going to see how many that you get correct. So Chingy, we're going to go back to the artist. Please name me five artists that begins with the letter L in ten seconds. Besides Little Flip and Little Wayne, Luther, go. Luther, Luther Vandross. Um, L, 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 um, from New York, L, uh, uh, L. <laughs> that's your time. What about L Cool J, Little Mo, Little oh. Bad Max? Yeah, Little I know. Innings. I was too, Lupe, I was, Lupe Fiasco, no, I was, 
I was too bu- I was too busy trying to get on. Um, what's his name from New York that passed away? Van Zeppelin. No, no, L. Um, from I think he was from Harlem. Oh, um, 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 um. Oh my goodness, now I can't remember. Someone tell me. What's his name? L. Um, damn. I can't remember his name. I feel bad. Rest in peace. Well, I don't know. I ain't even. Gonna- you know who I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. Big L. Big Big L. Yeah, big air. Big air. I was trying. I was too busy trying to think of big air when just in my mind kind of set Wait, there. B Martin. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Look, we're gonna see Chingy in Charlotte. Lavelle, what you, what you want to talk to Chingy about? I didn't get ready for my trip to Charlotte. Question, Lavelle, what you want to talk to Chingy about? Go ahead. Down, I chopped it down to one question. I Go ahead, to, sir. Um, do you think you would have? How do you think you would have responded to success in the '90s if you would have popped? Like as a kid, I always wanted. To, uh, versus you, early two thousands. You say how how would say that again? You know, like if you would have hit the mainstream in the nineties, you know, and you know started selling millions of records at that time versus two thousand three, two thousand four, five, six. How do you think that would have been? How do you think your trajectory would have been? As you, you, you know what? I don't think it would have been how I think it would have been the trajectory as an artist. I don't think it would have been too different because. Because 2003, coming off the 90s, even Nelly came out in like, what, 99? 2000 and, um, 2099? Yeah. I don't think it would have been a big difference. I think um, because if, a lot of people don't know this. Like me, myself, Nelly, we like we, we were big in New York, man. Like mm-hmm. like huge in New York. Like seriously, like huge in New York. We, we got appreciated. For and I, once again, we got appreciated for for having our own styles, for being our own artists. People appreciated that, and I think it would have kind of went the same way, if you want me to be honest, because we come from that era, right? So we stuck to certain principles from that era. Look, that's a really, really, really good question. Appreciate that, Jimmy. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me ask the, um Charlene. Charlie, do you enjoy yourself? Do you remember who Chingy Chingy is? Did you remember? Yes. Um, I want to know what are you looking forward to on your upcoming tour? Um, what I'm looking forward to is always uh performing for the fans and 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 partying with the fans and just um having some fun. I mean, of course, it's cool to uh see the other artists do their thing, but I'm more interested in the fans having a great time and me giving the fans a great show. So Absolutely. that's that's what it's about. Can you see anyone out there that because you collaborate with everybody? Is there any dream collaboration you want to do? Well, actually, there? I I mean, you know, Drake. One of I, I appreciate Drake's music. I, I would I would love to collaborate with Drake. It's Erica about It's a lot of people, man. Like I love Erica Badu. Um, yes. It's a it's it's a, it's a significant. It's a lot of people out there I would like to collab with. So I'm just gonna say Drake, Erica Badu. And um, I wish I could have collaborated with Pimp C. I got a story with Pimp C. So Please share it with us. When Pimp C got out of jail, it was a show we had. I forgot where we was at, but I know Nas was there, Ice Cube. And when I was coming off stage, Pimp C saw me. He said, hey, Ching- Chingy, where Ice Cube at? Chingy, he was like, where Ice Cube at? But he said on another note, boy, Chingy, when I was in jail, that them jeans was my shit. That them <laughs> jeans was my shit. We got to do something. But I never got to do it with him, man. Pimp C for me was how I liked Easy E from the okay. West Coast. Okay. Pimp C was that from down south. I got it. Chingy, let's 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 have a quick debate. Top five rappers dead or alive. You know what? I'm gonna just be completely honest Please. with you when it comes to that topic because it's very subjective. And I think if you go ask every individual rap, the seven billion people that's on this earth, you're gonna get a different answer. So there, there really is no top five, top one, top two. Everybody okay. going to have somebody that they appreciate. So I always tell people this. I don't have a top five. I don't have a top ten because I just don't see it that way. I think everybody has a skill set and a, have their own greatness within each individual. I got it. Everyone can make that. There's money out there for everybody, too. Everyone yeah. can make a bag. Yeah. It's just it just so happens to be like when I was coming up enjoying music, who made me want to, like I said, entertain on stage, Michael Jackson, who made me want to rap, Easy E. I'm not gonna say that they are my favorites. This is just who inspired me in that way 
that I made me want to do that. Perfect. Well, Tim, you got to do a drop for the show. Let me look. You got here. You got to be very creative. You know, I got to give you another example. Some people <laughs> look here. I go. I got all receipts here. Then me tell Tim, good night. I give look. I get ready for my trip to Charlotte already. Oh, oh yeah. you already get. <laughs> <laughs> You are ready, ready. What was John John the Don? I'm rocking with the Marty A. Johnson show. What you say to John if you ain't saying it twice? And if you don't add the Don, you ain't saying it right. What's up? What's up? It's the S, the L, the I, the M. And right now, we turn the pitch up. My I don't know why I ain't playing. Johnson. What? I don't know why I'm not playing. Got man. it. Okay, let's do it. All right, whatever you want to say, but make sure you say Marty A. Johnson. If you say Marty Johnson, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> All right, no. All right, bet. Here we go. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your main man, Chingy, all the way from St. Louis. And right now I'm hanging out with my folks at the Marty A. Johnson Show, the best show on this planet. Check it out. Let's do it. Yeah. Perfect. I like that. Chingy, do me one more thing. Let me use your idea. You see that email address right there? Is that email address on the bottom? Yep. Mar Marty A. Johnson 4 at Gmail. Hold on. Literally, you know I got to get my another receipt. Look, Slim did it. Um, Mims did it. Um, Jay Holly did it. Just be creative. Hey, Marty, Marty A. Johnson here. Got my guy. Yo, yo, it's your boy Slim 112 in the building. Look, all the artists ask me every single week, who got that smoke? Slim, talk to him. Hey, man, y'all need to send all y'all joints to Marty A. Johnson. Yep, I got it. At gmail.com. Perfect. And guess Let's what? Do it. Let's Just do tell it. Let's say, look, bring your music to that address. Tell them be creative. Blah, blah, blah. Say whatever you want. Hold all on. right. There you go. Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's your main man, Chingy, and check this out. If you love music, you're doing your music, you want to be the next top big artist, you got to send your music to MartyAJohnson4 at gmail.com because he's looking for the next big thing, and I know it's out there, so send your music there, and you, you might just pop. You never know, all right? Peace. Perfect! <laughs> That's all I needed. So, oh, Chingy, it's been, it's been a pleasure. Sorry, y'all. If y'all looking for that boring ass storyline that everyone else say, go on YouTube. Remember, this is Marty A. Johnson show. Say that for your mama. <laughs> for real. So, right. Chingy, you are our type of folks. We will see you. You just see me and Charlene. I don't know if Lavelle's going. Lavelle, Lavelle said he's going to make it. No, <laughs> I'm telling him I said I'll make it. Um, no, Chingy, I'm, we're going to reach out to Hallie and Scott and let them know because you were wonderful. Yeah, you, everything we anticipated yeah. you'd be. You wasn't um stuffy or nothing like that. You're our type of person. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We appreciate you, brother. And um, what's all your social media in the Millennium Tour? How can they get at you, please? All right. So how you can get at me? Uh, of course, Instagram at Chingy, Facebook Howard Chingy Bailey, YouTube Chingy Full Deck F U L L D E K K. You can hit up RightThird.com. Actually, you can hit up Talk Shop Live. Talk Shop Live. And I'm selling my new cologne on there called Catch. So hit nice. up Talk Shop Live. And um, that's how you get in touch with your boy. Hit up TikTok at Chingy. So I'm out here. You got to know how to get in touch with Chingy. And stream my music, too. Stream my new single, Can't Blame Me. Please. Stream my old albums, my old music, my previous music, the new music. I'm out here. So there you have it. Well, yes. Chingy, why you don't follow me on Instagram? I'm a, I am going to follow you. Well, I'm, I have be, time. Sometimes I'll be bad. Sometimes I'll be bad well, with that stuff. We got time. I'll hold on. We got time. <laughs> yeah. I'll be bad with that stuff. Well, look, in, we live now. I can hold on. Do you have another no, I got, I got you. I'm in this mall. I got you, though. <laughs> okay. I'm, look, I'm going to wait. Otherwise, I'm going to do you like I did H-Town. Take your phone from you and, and do it for you in person. <laughs> hey, if I ain't following you by then, you can do that. Okay. We will see you this weekend. It's been a pleasure, King, and, um, Congratulations on everything. Mm -hmm. Much love. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Yeah. Back to Charlene. We know that. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right. Oh. He was everything. Yes, that was wonderful. He was everything. That was so, hold on. Let me ask them. Um, Great energy. First off, let me ask the non biased people. You know what we'll say. Um, <laughs> Kenny. Kenny. Yeah. Do you want to come with us in case Lavelle don't come? Yeah, I'm actually sure already be. Case Lavelle don't come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm already already be in Charlotte? Already yeah, I'm already gonna be in Charlotte, so yeah. Okay, what do you, how do you feel about um Chingy uh tonight? 
It was good. It got he was uh energetic, like you know, it bright you know brightened up the you know, like he had a good. That's, I, he was everything. Um, KT, um, <laughs> do you like him? He was all right. Absolutely, he had really good energy. He had genuine energy. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed his segment for sure. Definitely. Um, Lavelle, did he disappoint? I don't know. Remember, I said this is probably gonna be more of my favorite episodes. Like this is probably more of my favorite. This was something different for real. Charlene. Yeah. Charlene. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lavelle. Um, how was this? I loved it. I had a, an amazing time. He's such a great individual. You know. He really is. Yeah. Like um KT said, his energy is everything. Mm-hmm. It really is. I'm gonna ask you this. Um Charlene, do you want to tell them now? Or you want to tell them no, Marty? A little bit. Um, I just Charlene, don't say the whole story. Okay, you say one part because you you give too much away. We're about to get the exclusive, exclusive, exclusive on something. The only person they want to talk to is us. Us. That's it. The Johnson show. They said something, something, something happened, and everyone want to talk to these people. And they said, "Oh no, we need to talk to them." We're going to do. Johnson show. It's major, 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 major. Major exclusive. I don't want to say it today because I don't want to bring the energy. Lavelle, we'll take you off the camera. Um, Tony, are we doing the other show tomorrow? What was that? Are we doing the other show tomorrow? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. Look, let me remind the artist. Um, we brought Kara, Kara's name, Kenny, on for a reason. They're the one who taps in with us literally on a consistent basis. Yes, yes. Seriously. Yes. And they put the work in. And okay. it's been over a year. It's been over a year that they've been coming on this platform. So you guys, when you see them up here, it's not that we just pick somebody and put them here. No, they've shown us through good and indifferent that they the real deal and they're going to invest in themselves. They're going to do what they got to do in order to make it. And that's what we love about you guys. You never give up. You consistently in that studio and you're consistently working and you put out your visuals and you put out your music and we really appreciate it. And whenever we call on you, you're always here. You're always, I can call you at a drop of a dime and I know that you guys are going to be on this platform on the time that I asked you to be here. And we really appreciate that. And this is just a part of us during our season finale to show you guys how much right. we love you and how much we appreciate what you do and to keep your heads up and don't ever quit because we believe in you guys. I agree. And everybody else out here, Take this as an example, please. We don't play here on the Marty A. Johnson show. We really mean um, what we say when we say we want to build genuine relationships with you guys in order to help you because we got to know you in order for us to push you out there to the people that we know. And trust me, I'm not putting my name behind nobody that's good. I'm not doing that. So just be consistent. That's all that we ask. Be consistent. And you, you'll you be here where Kara, Tanae, and Kenny are. And Lavelle, let's be honest. Um, Lavelle was with us in, in L.A. KT was on my shit list for a minute. I was pissed with her. <laughs> Lavelle was telling her to see That's facts. Hey, live and learn. Live and learn. It is facts. Facts, for sure. Yeah, but t- t- <laughs> today's a new day. Kenny, Kenny, cussing, Kenny Lavelle, Kenny, I know I'm pissed off with Kenny, too. I was going to catch a case because Kenny has potential and Kenny was, Kenny too busy spending all that money. <laughs> Lavelle, with that being said, Lavelle, honestly, and because um, they both got Lavelle, do you feel that we picked the right two? Now, all bullshit side because we, we know you got plenty of people in your your stable, you know all that. We picked these two for a reason. Yeah, man, it gotta be full circle. It gotta be the full pie. You know, good music is one thing. 
consistent work ethic is another thing. Understanding is another. Um, endurance it takes to just upkeep a career. I mean, there's a whole lot of you know, and shoot, enough. It's all in the play. There's two. a lot of RSB. We could, bro. Jay Chosen's working. Yeah. Jay Chosen, he he's working. He's already in the situation. Um, Karatane, what's your social media, please? My social media is Kara Tane, everything K A R A T E N A E. Kara Tane. And your album is available now. Tell me about your album. It's your time. My EP is available on all streaming platforms. It's called Faith Over Fear. You guys got to go check that out. It's that real RB, you know, make you feel something type RB. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, check it out. It's on. And I also have visuals out as well, more visuals in the works. So, yeah, check me out. K A R A T E N A E. Mm -hmm. Everything Karatene. Let me say this for human thing. I'm being a jerk. <laughs> Shout out to AJ. AJ, I got your message. AJ, I told LaVell and Charlene to come on early because you told me. AJ, thank you. Um, we're going to watch Lil Flip tonight. Lil Flip supposed to come on at 7 o'clock. He flaked on me. But we booked. He was. He was to come on for 10 minutes. That's why I called LaVell and Charlene. AJ. But still, we'll still watch Flip tonight at 9 o'clock. AJ, remember the 200 episodes coming up. The 200 show, excuse me. So, um. That's all I'm gonna say. And you you boys are more than welcome. AJ, thank you for the, the support. Lavelle, um no, Kenny. Kenny. Yo, your yo. Album, yeah, my album uh dropped uh August 24th already. That was uh it was still new. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was uh the Carolina Kobe. That's my fourth album this year. You know, I was thinking about dropping this year? it. Like, yeah, yeah, this year. I've been working, man. I've been working. We we putting it in. So, uh, yeah, the Carolina Kobe that just dropped, uh, you know, everything at Kenny MacGyver, MacGyver, M-A-C-G-U-Y-V-E-R, everything at Kenny MacGyver, or you can search the hashtag Carolina Kobe. That's me. Nice. You say you're working. Uh, yeah. LaVette, what are you doing this weekend? So, yo, uh, boom, 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 going down in Durham. Um, I got to get that. I forgot the address. There's so much stuff coming up. But we're going to be in Durham, nice side, finesse. Uh, Jada HK, King Jada Bloodman. We're going to be shutting it down with Darby, with her company, Your Village. Um, it's it's going to be um, some, kind of like a financial information event. So we're doing some financial literacy, and there's going to be some food out there and stuff. Um, so be pretty but um, after that, I'm coming to see you, Marty. So that, that, <laughs> that's Saturday. What's your social media, um, sir? Is that it right there? Man, y'all follow the booth. I just tapped into the Boom Sound Factory all together. I'm uh in New York next Saturday, but I'll talk about that. Ooh. Nice. Well, Charlene's busy with the Marty A. Johnson show, so you're <laughs> <laughs> <Charlene is> busy. <laughs> yes. Yes, you guys. He was geeking out about the show. They ain't coming for two, three more weeks. I'm like, what were about today? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot coming up, you guys. You're some amazing people coming on some amazing shows for you guys so just be looking out be looking out for it let me let me let me see if i can get rid of hold on let me see if i can tell a little bit of marty, something. marty you got your passport hold on let me see if let me see if they can give it away because it okay can i read i gotta review that contract okay i might take kenny with me kenny got a passport <laughs> then got to the bell on the sideline I like. <laughs> hey. You hold on, you look. You know how I, you know how I do. I got it's my season finale, and I got you live on the show. Don't tell too much, what you text me about, okay? Okay, so um, tell me the tell me the country that you told me about. What's the country you tell me about? Congo, Africa. Ooh, did you say you wanted me to go, or you just want me to work on the project with it? What do you What did you need from me? Oh, okay, okay. It has to be. It's gonna be next year. Am I correct? Okay, sir. Um, perfect. So we'll talk on Thursday. All right, sounds good, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, 
Let's see you, you guys. We're going to Congo, Africa. Um, I look, look, I just say this. Congrats. My attorney looking at the contract as we speak. I ain't playing. Yes. That's but, um, That's huge. Um, and, and my writing request is you got to pay, and they can be, and they forking the bill. That's all I'm going to say. For more information on the Marty Angel. <laughs> What's my favorite line? I think Kenny, I you need to, Kenny and KT knows what I need to lie for. I take care of the business. What I got to lie for? Oh, Charlene. Yeah. Kenny, you guys, I told LaBelle about Chingy. We're going to go to Charlotte. He's like, I didn't see nothing posted on that. I said, LaBelle, what I need to lie for? We're getting the exclusive. <laughs> right. We're now here on the show. <laughs> hey, so look, let me show you what's next week. KT. And Kenny again presented by Naughty by Nature next week. So if you're an artist, Antoine, what do they need to do that might change my mind? Please send your greatest work, not your work, Marty A. Johnson for at gmail.com. As you see, if you're not sending it to a label for a one shot, just don't send it to Marty A. Johnson for at gmail.com. Okay. Let me play this. See if y'all excited. What's up, world? This is Marty. Join us for part two of the season finale of the Marty A. Johnson Show. Now, we're going to have Grammy Award winning and iconic members of Naughty by Needs. I don't know why I ain't playing. Look, I got the clip. Let me try one more time. Then I'm going to tell y'all goodnight. Hold on. KG, support you by our friends at Kick Up Your Heels Entertainment. Now. I don't know. But, but, but I don't know. They will be here. Remember, KG. KG, remember, he discovered next who yes. are friends to this show. Seriously. Legends. No, definitely le legends. No, uh, he, he discovered him. Jaheen, just in case. Seriously. And a couple other people. I don't care. And then after that, um, KT, do you know who's coming for part three? Do you know who's coming for part three of the season finale? Uh, Yeah. Who's coming? Uh, Anthony Hamilton? Yes. And he's a, Kenny, you know he's a friend of this show already? Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, he, look, Charlie, you might have to knock on his door when we go to Charlotte on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously. Charlene, come home. Charlie. Come home. <laughs> look. So please, everyone, tap all the way in Marty A. John's show. This will be up on YouTube. Tonight, if it wasn't stream, I'm gonna re put it up. But anyhow, um, follow me, Lavelle, Charlene, KT, and Kenny, and um, we will be in Charlotte. Yes, <laughs> we will. So, um, send your music to me, Marty A. Johnson for a Gmail member. Tap all the way in. Remember, this is Marty A. Johnson show. Good night, y'all. That part. Oh.